Jim Wagner here, your self-defense instructor. And I'm here in the home of one of my students and one of my friends, Mike DiGiovanni. Now I'd like to introduce you to Mike because he's 73 years old and he's been training with me since 1986, 26 years. The great thing about Mike is he trains every day. And uh, for his 70th birthday, he invited me to uh, where he uh, teaches fitness classes. And uh, for an hour, he almost wiped me out. And he could get in one of my reality-based personal protection courses and go with the 25-year-olds. And I'm talking scenario training. I'm talking going toe-to-toe -to -toe and knife survival. And uh, he just keeps fit. There's nothing wrong with him. Perfect health. And he's, uh, of course, someone I would like to aspire to one day when uh, I finally reach his age. And uh, I'm going to uh, introduce you now to him. He's upstairs getting ready. And he's going to show you in this series how to be a healthier person. Good morning. Welcome to my home. Every morning before I get out of bed, I do a series of exercises. Learn the sequence and you can do these exercises tomorrow morning. So we'll start with some simple stretches. We need to scoot down just a little bit and stretch both arms, both legs, and stretch and stretch and stretch and then relax. Now let's lower your left arm and we'll do the right arm and right leg. So we'll stretch and stretch, feel your spine stretching and relax. Lower the right arm, raise the left. And we'll stretch the left arm, left leg. So stretch and stretch and relax. Now let's go back to both arms and both legs and stretch and stretch and relax. Let's lower the left arm, raise the right and we're going right arm, left leg. So we'll go right arm, left leg, cross stretch, stretch and stretch and relax. Other side, left arm, right leg. Stretch and stretch and relax. Now we need to go back to both arms and both legs and stretch and stretch and relax. And now we're going to do muscle strengthening and tightening. So we're going to start with the left calf. We're going to start tightening the left calf. Low, medium, and high tension and hold it. And then relax. Now we'll move over to the right calf. Low, medium, and high tension. Hold it, warming that muscle. And relax. Now bring your attention up to the left thigh. So we're going to low, medium, and high tension, and then relax. Move your attention over to the right thigh, and again, it's low, medium, and high tension, and then relax. Now let's make a fist with your left hand, and we're going to tense the left forearm only. Low medium and high tension and then relax and we move over to the right side low medium high tension and relax mind and body coordination we need to move up to the left bicep and we're going to low medium and high tension on the left bicep and then relax and then we'll move over to the right bicep. Low, medium, and high. Now a little coordination. Bring your attention down to your stomach area. So we're going to tighten the stomach. Low, medium, and high. 
hold it and relax. Now let's bring your attention over to the left side of your chest. Low, medium, and high. And relax. Right side of the chest. <clears throat> Low, medium, and high. Hold it and relax. Now we need to move up to the neck area. So we're going to tense the neck. Low, medium, and high. And relax. Now let's not forget the face. We're going to move to the left face cheek and tighten it and low, medium, and high. And relax that side. And then the right face cheek. Low, medium, and high. And relax. And now we're ready to get out of the bed. There's a couple of more things I want to show you before we get up. I want to loosen up some of the joints before we get out of the bed. So we're going to start with the ankles. And all I'm going to do is the alphabet with my ankles. So I'm going to roll them around. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, and a M, N, circle with an O, P, a Q, R, S, T, a U, a V, a W, X, Y and Z. Now let's move up to the hand and wrist area. This is an area that tends to get stiff, especially if you use the computer a lot. So we're going to start making like little O's with the hands. And you're pushing your other fingers up as strong as you can. So we'll go pointing finger, middle finger, ring finger, and let's not forget the little finger. Make circles with the thumb and then we can loosen the wrist and make circles with the wrist. Let's start gently tapping beneath the eyes. Just tap lightly with your fingers and we can come up around the area where you may tend to get some crow's feet. This helps in that area. It gets blood to that area. And then back around and into the area of your sinuses, help clear, helping clear your sinuses. Let's continue tapping very gently. The arm area, all the way down this meridian in your arm. And back up and down. And then we'll move over to the other side and tap. Let's wake everything up. Then very gently in the stomach area, tapping. Up around the chest area. Continue to tap gently. And now we'll very gently bend down and tap the sides of the legs. Both sides, all the way down. And the other side, tapping all the way down. Now we want to get a little blood to the head area. So I'm going to turn my head down and make my scalp move. Just making the scalp move up and down and side to side. Now this is very important. We want to rub the very back of your head. Make that part of your scalp move. And finally, I'll stand and rub my ears. Feel the heat coming in this area. Don't forget the ear lobes, upper part of your ear, around the ear, and even the insides of your ears. And now, let's go down and feed those cells. Now let's move into the area of nutrition. 
This is something that I take every day. This is part of my normal everyday morning breakfast. First of all, you need to have a digestive enzyme. It doesn't matter how much protein you eat, how much carbohydrate you eat, how many vitamins you take. If you don't digest them properly, they're not going to do the job. So I take a enzyme tablet. And the one vitamin that I take in the morning is a coenzyme Q10. And I take one of those. Now we'll start with the actual protein drink. I have a little water in here, as much as you feel like comfortable drinking. And I'm going to add to that, you can use milk, juice, but I prefer water. So I'm going to add to that some protein. And this particular protein, make sure you have a good protein powder that has all of the amino acids and the uh, vitamins that you need in it. Um, it's designed to build muscle. So we're going to take a scoop of protein. Now, in addition to the protein, we need to have some bulk in our diet. So I have ground flaxseed. So we'll take a scoop of ground flaxseed. Next, the vitamins. A thousand milligrams of vitamin C goes right in the protein drink. I can tell the cameraman's getting ready for this drink right now. Next, we'll take a banana slice a banana and I'm going to cut it up a little bit to make it easier to grind up in the uh, grinder here. So we're going to cut up a banana, a piece of banana. And here's the one that some of you may take a little getting used to. I'm going to add to that zucchini. We need some greens first thing in the morning. Zucchini is has so many vitamins. It's just a, a wonder food. So I add some zucchini to my protein drink. Next, antioxidant. And you can use other fruits, other berries to your taste. I love blueberries. They're in season right now. So I have a bunch of blueberries, a good handful of blueberries. And after this, we need to move over to the blender. Delicious protein drink. Okay, Jim, now it's your turn to take a drink. All right, you're all finished then? All finished. And we'll let you taste this delicious protein <laughs> drink. I know you're looking forward to the zucchini part. This is my first time, first time he's made it for me. And of course, I'm uh, going to get into his regime. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> I'm going to start with a series of movements. I have many of them, but I'm going to start with this one that I use in the morning just as a warm-up. So step wide, wider than you would normally step. Toes flare out a bit, knees bend, and kind of sit down. Your chest stays tall. Start breathing. We're going to breathe. Inhale, legs straighten, and then just exhale down. And you can breathe again. Big breath. Open up wide. Feel it and lower down. And we go again. Big breath. Arms go wide. Turn to your right and strike with your left palm. 
Knee is over the ankle, chest stays tall. Notice how this back leg straightens, loosening up your leg and your spine. So open to center, and then go to the other side. And we can open with a breath. Now try it with the breath. Exhale, as you imagine a strike. Open to the center, big breath. Exhale. Open to the center. Exhale. Open to the center. Now watch this. We're just going to wrap your arms around to your right and to your left. Remember, keep your knee over the ankle and just let your shoulders go. And we'll move right into some yoga poses now. After we warm up, I have many of those, we'll move right into yoga. So we can inhale again. It's all about the breath. The yogis say to half breathe is to half live. Bend your knees and find the floor with your hands. Right foot takes a big step back. Now here we need to lift the chest and keep the knee over the ankle again. Your, your heel is up, so push that heel back and feel that stretch through your hamstring. Step back. And here's your option. Drop to your knees, glide your hips forward, roll your shoulders back, and you're looking down. Curl up, curl your toes under, and we push your sit bones high to the ceiling. 